Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to learn something that you had to practice a lot. Sometimes in some uh, phones that you uh, diagnostic that you had some problems, you had to remove some secrets. For, ex for example, the PMU. The PMU is a secret that sometimes is on the top and and the another side of the board is the CPU, right? Or sometimes the CPU and the P the PMU is uh, just close these two components, right? So you can't apply too much heat. So sometimes you have to use another technique to remove these kind of uh, circuits, okay? So for example, this is an iPhone um, 8, okay? This iPhone 8 the PMU is right here, right? And then the CPU is right here. If you apply too much heat on this uh, component, sometimes you can damage the CPU and you have to uh, do a reball of the CPU and a lot of work, right? So remember, the PMU is the circuit that provides uh, power to a lot of components, to the CPU, to audio, screen, touch, and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, components. You have to make sure when you are going to remove the PMU, you do the diagnostic right, okay? Because the PMU, uh, just because the PMU is getting hot, you never don't remove just the PMU. You had to have your measurements and you had to be right in your diagnostic, okay? So in this example, I'm going to show you how to remove it without risk, okay? So there is the PMU. So the first thing that we are going to do is, so I'm going to use uh, 260 and 50 of air, okay? And we are going to use this kind of blade, the number 11, okay? To clean this uh, area right here, okay? like that like that okay you don't have to be perfect and this uh clean just uh make sure uh almost like 50 percent okay and then Another side. Okay. Another side. Okay, and another side. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then you had to remove all these uh, black film. Okay, just like that. This component, imagine that is not working, okay? Because you cannot uh, use this component again, okay? So I'm going to just remove everything, okay? Like that. Okay, so when you have it like that, I'm going to bring some uh, weak flux, like that. Some flux and some uh, solder wire, okay? And I'm going to use this kind of uh, iron. This is a T15 iron. This, I think, is uh, 70 watts. So I like to use this one because it's a powerful uh, iron. So you don't going to have any problems. Okay, okay. I'm going to use uh, 450 or 400. And I'm going to apply some flux, okay? Some flux. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to bring my iron. And I'm going to prepare to remove this from here, okay? So I'm going to, this one have uh, 450, okay? I'm going to apply some uh, solder. And I'm going to bring my uh, bistury, my blade, okay? And the corner. Okay. 
So we just had to wait a little bit and there you go. See, without any risk. Okay. So now that you have it there, so I'm going to bring my um, 138 solder paste and I'm going to apply some uh, solder paste. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just do this a little bit. Okay. Some uh, flux. And I'm going to bring my another iron and I'm just going to uh, do it like that, okay? 138, we are changing the uh, the solder bolts because we had to apply 138 to, uh, to clean it uh, in the easy way, okay? Like that. Now I'm going to bring my wick. Okay, like that. I'm going to use now 250 and 60, and I'm going to try to clean the corners, okay? Now some alcohol. And there you have it. Okay. Nice and clean without any risk that you're going to damage the CPU. Don't forget to just practice. You have to practice a lot. I always say a good micro soldering level technician is the one have a good technique to do rebuild, install uh, circuits and all this kind of repair because the diagnostic you are going to learn in and the time, you know, but uh, you have to practice your uh, skills of solder, the solder circuits to how your temperature is good and all that kind of uh, things. Um, I would like to do um, a little of classes of uh, how to do rebuild. So just leave the comment if you are interested on this kind of uh, classes, because I had a lot of things to teach you guys. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye.